looks like we are now employing the 35 minute rule. 35 minutes in a yard and they find us. So we are putting one box back now. Flow is pretty much dried up. And that is basically just to provide some space so we don't plug out the brood nest. If we do get rain, second cut of alfalfa, whatever else is out there, we have space for them. And if we don't get rain and these colonies fall into dearth, major dearth, we have a place to drop a little bit of syrup just to keep these nests going. Provide them the space so we don't backfill this brood nest with syrup too soon in the year while they're trying to fight for space and develop that winter nest. So in the next week, week and a half is going to be very indicative of how I manage my bees on whether or not to continue with honey production or completely pull a pin switch out and pretty much go in maintenance mode. But because of this robbing, which I hate so dearly, I employ my strategy. One of my strategies while working is to tackle one problem a year to address, you know, the things I hate within this business. And this is something I hate. Pulling honey with robbing bees is not fun. So what I do, and it kind of complements the rest of everything I do, is we cover our hives up. My boxes aren't, well, they're getting better now, but they're not in the greatest shape. So we have cracks and such. And when we pull the honey off with the escapes, leaves the boxes vulnerable up top. We tend to use a lot of tape to tape up the cracks. We miss them, honey gets back pisses me off so what I've done is made a bunch of covers to, to cover up my boxes and this just kind of gives me peace of mind and relieves all the problems with uh, the bees robbing that honey back but the other thing it does is it allows us to employ the escape boards right to the end of the season and not have to deal with robbing bees at all so we'll leave these on for two or three days they'll clear out nicely we'll come back and simply put, just strip off these honey boxes and by the time they find us we are strapped up and out of the yard. So none of that blowing bees and heavy robbing pressure or using fume boards. It's just none of that nonsense anymore. We just come in, strip them off and away we go. No robbing bees. So this has added a little more pleasure in the late season honey pool because of those. So, with that said, I better get back to work and help them cover up this yard before we come a cloud of bees and carry on with the day. I'm not sure how much honey, you know, there's a lot of boxes here, but that can be deceiving. Top box is empty. A little disappointed in that. We have some honey here first two boxes of honey so we'll be pulling back probably 75 percent or maybe half of what we typically do second pull kind of disappointing a little bit more rain would have helped we might get some who knows I might bring on something more these are empty we'll be doing a lot of calling in the honey house get a rain get some honey into these top boxes provide a bit of a flow just so we don't have to maintain them with supplements as long if we don't get a rain, we're going to have to be quite aggressive on how we main manage these colonies as we move further into fall. It's not fall yet. feels like fall as we move further into late summer. My house is shut down for the evening. Everything nicely cleaned and covered up. Ready for another day tomorrow. Honey box is ready to extract. Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday. And we've made ourselves some space here to be able to bring boxes back in Friday and Saturday. Should fill the rest of this room right up. 
and the way we did that. Oh, these cursed robbers. August 4th. And we have boxes in storage. This is what we did today. The flow has ended. The only advantage of putting them back out on the colonies would be to manage the wax moth. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to manage those little pests. Because my two trailers are to hold the honey. That's the reefers, so I can't freeze them. It's been a windy spring, straight from the south, and terrible warmth. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to take some measures to control wax moth. This trailer will be full by... Well, we are putting some boxes out as we're replacing. So this will be filled by the end of the week. And then on to our second trailer. And then move the trailer out of the yard so there's not so many bloody robbing bees. You bastards. I'm going to have to seal off. This is an old trailer, of course. It's not safety. I can sure smell it. As soon as that trailer is full, I'll seal it up, move it out somewhere. As we bring the year to an early end. Thank you. 